slow there. Got a little bit talky with that last one. Went a little bit long, so we're going to try to shorten this one up a little bit for you, get you back on track here. So we're going to ask ourselves in part four of intelligence and testing, uh, is intelligence biased? And we're really not going to answer that question by the end, but we'll give you some things to think about. So first of all, we have to ask ourselves, um, are intelligence tests inappropriately biased? Um, so the, the the premise or the reason why we're starting from this is, is there is definitely a difference in intelligence test scores between uh, different races. So for instance, black, African-American um, students and Mexican-American students score lower than white students on intelligence scores in the United States. So there's a difference there. And so we got to ask ourselves, wh why is there a difference there, right? So if we ask ourselves this, right, so is that, first of all, we would ask ourselves this question here, if we assume that race is a meaningful concept. So number one, does that matter? Should we even be saying there's a difference between blacks and whites? Or should, are they all just students and we forget about that there's two different groups of people, right? So first of all, assuming that we think that, that race is an important um, concept, we can go with this, we can divide the difference in intelligence in the three uh, basic camps. Um, number one, so why is there a difference? Um, that there are there's genetically disposed differences, right? And this is this is the argument that some of the people in the South use. You know, after slavery started to become a little little bit less uh, okay to do, right? So before, you know, as slavery was good for the people, then it became, you know, blacks are less intelligent, just inherently, they're not, they're subhuman. And that became the rallying cry of the people of the South, I um, mean, here in the United States. And um, so that's, you know, that's a kind of an antiquated view and one that's not held by really anybody, but it's one that we just have to throw out there because that has to be one of the options for the reasons, right? Two, that there's socially, whoops, that's supposed to say socially, influenced race differences. So something about our culture is making uh, a difference in test scores. What, so it's, the culture's causing it. It's not genetic, but it's the culture's causing it. So is that the option? And then finally, was probably what most uh, you know professionals would say might have a little bit more to do with it is that there are race differences in scores so there is differences comma but tests are inappropriate right this is a big thing or biased so the second and the third one, first one, I'm, almost everybody throws out, right? There's no genetic, that, that's not a great reason. Second one, social differences, that's, a, that's one that people will argue for. There are social differences uh, culturally and that the tests, uh, you know, the, the cultures are, are causing a difference. Um, the third one, there is a difference, but that the tests are inappropriate or biased. So inappropriate, they're not necessarily measuring the correct things or they're biased. And so we're going to figure out what does bias mean? There's two meanings of bias. Um, one is that, um, let's see the green here. I want to, there we go. If test detects uh, not only the differences in intelligence, but also cultural differences. So for instance, if I'm taking an intelligence test score and I use the word saucer, right, and cup, right, a particular culture may understand what a cup and saucer is, whereas another culture might not, right? If I say, what's the appropriate thing to put in the cup and saucer, right? And you, your options are uh, some sort of liquid tea or dog biscuits or whatever. If somebody has no idea what a cup and saucer is or a saucer is, then they're not going to be able to answer that question correctly, no matter how intelligent they are, right? And it's not because they're less intelligent. It's because their culture doesn't have a cup and saucer in it, so they don't even know what it means. So, that make, so hopefully that makes sense. So th that would be testing cultural differences as well as intelligence scores. So we'd have to change the test to try to make it culturally indifferent, which is tough to do. 
Um, and then finally, a second one is that scientific definitions of bias has to do with reliability. So when we talk about bias in science, we're talking about reliability. And reliability is does it get um, the same results over and over and over again? All right. So if I gave the test, um, you know, six times to a person, is it going to give similar results? And uh, IQ test scores generally are very reliable. So in this case, um, these scores aren't biased, right? They're not biased because they do. It shows over and over again that one set of people scores higher than another set of people. It's reliable. It's reliably going to show that over and over again. And so it's reliable and it's not biased in that regard. So this is really the only definition of bias here that we can use. And so it's te so we're basically the premise is, is that we're testing things that aren't really testing what they're supposed to be testing, right? We, we call that validity, right? So the, the tests aren't necessarily valid because they're not asking questions in a way that's truly testing intelligence. They're also testing cultural differences. Another thing that people talk about that may affect intelligence scores, and this is the last thing I want to mention here, is the stereotype threat. And so the stereotype threat, and this has been uh, shown in research more than once, is that um, it's, a, it's a, remember we talked about self-fulfilling um, prophecy? So this is a self-confirming concern, that's supposed to be a C right there, that one will be evaluated based on a negative stereotype. So they've done more than one study that says that Black children are going to score have scored lower on IQ scores when tested by a white man versus when tested by a black man. So black children scored a little bit higher when tested by a black man rather than when tested by a white man. And that's where the stereotype threat comes in is that the, the um, hypothesis is that the people, the kids taking the test feel like they, the, the white person is already thinking about them as less intelligent and therefore they're going to perform down to that level of intelligence that they think they're, that they think the other person already sees them as. All right? So that's also affecting it. So we're looking at a couple things here, right? Just to recap, cultural differences, stereotype threats may be leading to it. Uh, we know that the, the tests are reliable because they do produce it. So we're going to look at how we how we measure intelligence or how the tests are constructed more specifically to help us with this idea of bias and uh, intelligence. So there you go. And um, we'll talk to you later. Thanks.